described the Pine Ridge Railroad as a selectively compressed version of John Allen's Gordian defeated layout. John Allen's layout room occupied approximately 630 square feet, whereas the Pine Ridge Railroad occupies only 425 square feet. The, uh, obviously, I've taken some liberties at some of the buildings. The towns and cities on the Pine Ridge Railroad uh, require several more structures and certainly a lot more details. The uh, power system on the Pine Ridge Railroad is, uh, is a Digitrax DCC system. Uh, I plan to use uh, John Allen's uh, Tab One car system as a means of car operations. So let's move on to the next scene. I'm standing over at the area of the control panels of Gorian defeated. This is an area that I had to greatly selectively compressed when you compare this to what John Allen had. John Allen had several uh, bridges and had some loopbacks. The storyline is that the Pine Ridge Railroad purchased the Gorian defeated from John Allen after he uh, retired to pursue his interest in photography and model railroading. The Pine Ridge Railroad also kept the Devil's Gulch and Helen Gun Railroad, but we near, which is a narrow gauge railroad. And what I did is I put narrow gauge track in here where John Allen had standard gauge track, and that runs up to, from Gory up to um, uh, Defeated. And so that was narrow gauged. And then the rest of it continues out and, and hooks up and becomes dual gauge on the other, other side of the layout here. Okay, I'm now standing in front of the town of what I call Andrew. John Allen uh, called this area Andrews, and I call it Andrew. I renamed several towns. Uh, along my layout that use different names than what John Allen did. This is one example. Uh, at um, Andrew, I incorporated the time saver switching layout that John Allen is also famous for. It's a switching layout a game. It's a switching puzzle game. Uh, so I've incorporated that down here. This, this area is a lot uh, shorter than what John Allen had, but um, uh, nevertheless, it, it, it reflects what he close to what he had. And then panning over to, this, uh, to the scenery, my wife painted the backdrop, wonderful backdrop scenery here. This is, uh, emulates what's called the 10 mile range in Colorado. This is painted, or it makes this S is painted on one eight inch styrene plastic. And when it hits the wall over here, uh, the backdrop is then made out of masonite. You'll notice there's several bridges I I recreated, I tried to recreate uh, several of the bridges that John Allen had, had used. If you're going to do anything along the lines of what John Allen did, you're, you're going to be faced with uh, having probably scratch built several bridges. The, uh, you'll notice over on the side, we also have a mirror that reflects uh, part of the scenery back uh, along the lines of what John Allen had as well. And now we're filming in the area that John Allen called Sims Loop. We call this Cammy's Loop. We've got some bridges in here that, that are on a 26 inch radius curve. This area is, uh, as you can see, is still under construction. There's going to be a mine here called Silver King Coalition Mine. It is modeled, uh, it's a model after Park City Silver King Coalition Mine. And in the center here is where John Allen had the uh, Scout Mountain and we're gonna call it Kadox Peak. Uh, this will be one of the next areas that I'll tackle and uh, create a mountain here. There'll be an access pit, uh, access uh, in the back. And then moving over here, handing over here, this is one of, one of my most favorite areas of the Gorian Defeated Railroad. This is called French Gulch, and it's uh, services of uh, three different tiers of, on HO scale, and up here there's a straight track of N scale to, I wanted to make sure that I got this arch bridge in. This is actually N scale, which, which creates a forced perspective, but it's just a, uh, about an 11 foot section of uh, N gauge track. Um, this deck bridge is really a uh, camel, two camel kits that I flipped upside down and turned the the how through truss into a how deck bridge, and then these other bridges here were get bashed and scratch built. And I just like to say that John Allen uh, really greatly influenced me as well as hundreds of other model railroaders. I raised the bar on model railroading and 
uh, added a degree of realism that hadn't really been seen and certainly not seen in mo most toy train layouts. And uh, I take a lot of insp inspiration from John Allen. And the Pine Ridge Railroad for me keeps his legend alive uh, and keeps uh, his railroad alive, even though John Allen is no longer physically with us.